Hello everyone and welcome to That's Football. Declan Rice is an Arsenal player. Arsenal fans, uh, look, I'm jealous. You can rejoice. The deal is done. I've always said he was going to sign. I was very confident he would. There was lots of messages going around that if you were party to them, you'd know he was going to go to Arsenal. That was always his preference. Man City was a threat. They pulled out. He's going to Arsenal. It's a lot of money. But there's two things I want to say right at the start. What a fantastic player is Declan Rice. I, I, I've heard this from so many people over the years. I mean, look, he's been linked to United for a long time. I always had the indication he wanted to go to Chelsea for the last four years. It was always, if Chelsea go for him, he'll go there. He loves Chelsea. I think Chelsea dropped the ball and changed and last season probably hurt them. And Arsenal, you know, persuaded him, wooed him, seduced him. You know, whatever you want, whatever word you want to do, they've done a very good job on Declan Rice because for a long time he's been very focused on that's the right move for him. And staying in London might be a big thing, of course. Um, but I think that the, the cold, harsh fact is that You've got to look at the player first. And he's definitely overpriced. He can't do anything about that. But I've told, I've said this so many times. I've said it on watch-alongs. I've said it on videos like this. Watch Declan Rice next season. Mark my words, you will see him go through the gears. At West Ham, he's been a very, very good player. At England level, he's been a very good player. But he's been asked to do a certain role. Protect the defence. Don't go too far forward. Protect the defence. And England tend to play you know quite defensive under Southgate certainly West Ham do play deeper and Declan Rice therefore does a lot of defensive work he's going to go to Arsenal they're going to play more attacking than West Ham ever did they're going to go on the front foot and you're going to see the side of get Declan Rice's game that not many people get to see because it's hidden in training He's actually a really good technical player going forward. He can score goals. And Arsenal are going to see that. Arsenal fans are going to see that. The Premier League is going to see that. Guarantee, mark my words, next season will be people will be going, I never knew Declan Rice could do this. He's going to be getting forward. He's going to be scoring goals, creating goals. He's not going to turn into Kevin De Bruyne. Now, that's not what I'm saying. But he has predominantly been a very defensive player. And you're going to see levels to his game that anybody who knows about Declan Rice, this is why there's a lot of interest in him. So watch that. The second thing I want to say is Arsenal are just doing different. I mean, I remember all the Arteta out, the T-shirts. He's not the right man from Arsenal fans. And I still think there are some Arsenal fans that, you know, deep down want to be stubborn and want to be proved right. But from a very, very early stage, I saw what Arteta was doing. He went into that football club. They were in trouble. He defended. They won a cup. And then he gradually started making changes, you know, changed his goalkeeper, got rid of a Bamiyang, got rid of players that people didn't expect him to be given the authority to do. They've, they've backed him. He's built it. I think they were ahead of schedule last year to even be in a title race. You looked at the bench and you went, that's the next thing they've got to do. And they've gone strong again this summer. Havertz gives them more depth in the attack. Declan Rice comes in and gives them an absolute, you know, solid midfielder that will give everything and can grow into the role and probably be a future captain and of course it looks like they're going to get Yuri and Timber which will bring them more quality at centre-back which they needed when Saliba got injured so 200 million pounds spent in by the first week of July um, I don't think Arsenal fans can complain apart from the fact that their business might be over quickly because they've done it all but is that not the dream get everybody in early get that morale going again 43 points from the first 48 last year. Can they go anywhere near that this year? Um, I think it's incredible. And I think that to win the race for Declan Rice as well, um, look, I, I've heard this nonsense and I'm still calling it nonsense because it is complete nonsense. That To think that Arteta went behind Arsenal's back to get Pep Guardiola to put a bid in for Declan Rice so that Arsenal would put another bid in and they could get Declan Rice. I've never heard such nonsense in all my life. I mean, how would that even work? Why would Arteta want his own club to spend more money? Why would Pep want to help Arteta get a player that he wants? It's nonsense. The reality is Manchester City pulled out of that deal because they knew Declan Rice preferred Arsenal and they also did not want to spend as much as Arsenal have. They've done this before. They've done it a few times, Man City. They've done it with Cucurella. They did it with Alexis Sanchez with Manchester United, which was wages. Apparently, they did it with Harry Maguire. They've done it a few times. You know, Man City may be many things, and they may have been accused of many things, but they, they, they're they not stupid. And I think that if I know, 
and have known for weeks that Declan Rice wants to go to Arsenal, you can guarantee Man City knew it. So I think Man City pushed it and they pushed Arsenal. And it's to their benefit at the end of the day. They've made a rival spend a little bit more than they wanted to do. But ultimately, Pep Guardiola would have wanted Pep Declan Rice. And Declan Rice at Man City would have been a good player. I think Arsenal have got a really, really good signing here. And um, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm excited because I'd love to have seen him at Manchester United. But Arsenal have done another good bit of business. And Arsenal are changing. You know, you look at that Arsenal team, you look at the Arsenal fan base four or five years ago, I was, you know, sort of doing stuff with Arsenal fans and it was a joke. You know, they were a joke. It was all about the past. It was this blind arrogance about who they are and what they are and where this and where that. And you knew they weren't. They weren't that. I think I look at Arsenal in the last couple of years and, 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 and it's great to see their fan base get behind Arteta. It's a different feel to Arsenal. The match day experience is more supportive. It's more, you know, it's more like Highbury used to be all those years ago. And they believe in this manager and they believe in this team and they're building something. And I think I'm never going to like Arsenal because I'm a Man United fan. And um, that, that's just the way it is. But there's a lot to respect about what Arsenal are doing. Um, and also their ownership as well. I mean, this is an ownership that protests happened about. And actually, they've gone. I, I never thought they'd finish second last year. And I never thought I'd see a situation where. You know, Man United wanted to wanted Declan Rice. They couldn't get in the race. I think Chelsea wanted Declan Rice, but they couldn't get in the race. Man City, the title treble winners, wanted Declan Rice and Arsenal won it. I, I, you know, we can all talk about lies and we can all pretend. But the bottom line is Arsenal beat Man City to Declan Rice. And Pep Guardiola did want him because he's a bloody good player. And Arsenal beat him to it. What needs to happen next is what will Declan Rice mean for Arsenal? Well, it's a big club. It's a big responsibility. We know that Declan's always wanted this. Champions League football, playing for a club that can win things. But he's got to fit that shirt. He's got to wear that shirt and he's got to show that he is one of the best players in that team. I think he can do it. And if he can do it, he could be there for the next six, seven, eight years doing it, which would be a big thing for Arsenal. There's pressure. But I think, you know what, it's better for Declan Rice to go and try and win something with somebody that's not won something than to go to somebody that's already done it. Um, and I think that suits the character and player that Declan Rice is. You can't predict how this will end. Do I think Arsenal win a, will win a league title? I still think it's very difficult for a team like Arsenal to win a league title in the current setup. I still think Man City are a long way ahead. But transfers like this help. Anyway, smash a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and more importantly, get your comments in below. What are your thoughts? Thanks everyone for watching. I'll speak to you on the next one.